As regular MotorWeek viewers know, Lisa Barrow is almost always on the go, globetrotting to bring us timely and interesting stories. But last spring, when Lisa saw Craig Singhaas heading down Florida's east coast for some R&R, the idea of a vacation in the Sunshine State looked very appealing. In fact, Lisa decided to head as far south as you can drive, naturally keeping us posted along her sunny way. Dear John and the gang, the shoot's going great and the Florida Keys are fantastic. What a beautiful place for driving, sightseeing, and enjoying the sunshine. You wouldn't believe all the things Susan and I have gotten into. We may never come back to the office. Our first adventure was a day of snorkeling off the coast of Key Largo at mile marker 100. There are plenty of places to rent gear in the Keys, or you can bring your own like we did, which stowed easily into our Subaru Outback. Because it's small, fast, and caters to individual needs, we chartered the Sundiver Express. With a bouncy one to two foot chop on the water that day, Captain Dave Brigham took us to Grecian Rocks, a semicircular reef that offered protection from the rough seas. But even so, the bottom was stirred up and visibility was not ideal. On a calmer day, the reefs off Key Largo really earned their reputation for being the sports diving capital of the world. Back on shore, we couldn't resist a quick shopping spree in Shell World, where they have exotic crafts from around the world, clothes, and you guessed it, lots of seashells. With all the sunshine and traveling, our trusty Subaru Outback was getting thirsty, so we pulled into the gas station for a pit stop. And what service! I'll bet you guys back at the office love this idea. The next day, we headed on down to Marathon, renowned as a fishing paradise. We were after tarpon, so we piled our rods and reels into the outback and met up with Dave Navarro, who operates World Class Angler. We fished the waters under Seven Mile Bridge alongside Liz Hogan, who holds the ladies' world record for tarpon on both two- and six-pound test line. There it is. That's a record. That's a record. True to form, Liz landed another world record that day, 134 pounds of tarpon on four-pound line. Susan and I weren't quite so lucky. I'm not getting any bites. Me neither. But the secret of fishing is to know where the fish are. So we headed over to Robbie's Marina, just across Lignum Vitae Key Bridge. It's not the easiest place to find, but the tarpons sure know where it is. Now that we were getting up close and personal with the fish, we decided to go all out. So our next stop was the Dolphin Research Center in Grassy Key. <laughs> DRC is an educational facility dedicated to promoting the health and welfare of all marine mammals. To encourage awareness and understanding, a limited number of visitors are allowed carefully controlled brief swims with the dolphins. It's a wonderful experience. Once they get down there with the dolphins, it's very comforting and peaceful and they seem as interested in us as we are into them. Dolphins are obviously intelligent and sensitive creatures. They are gentle with swimmers and in tune to their behavior. The dolphins do appear to be very keen on body language. And so if you're kind of mellow and down, they may just kind of hang out with you and look at you and be very, very relaxing and right there for you. Swimming with the dolphins can work up an appetite, so Susan and I made straight for some delicious key lime pie. When you're in the Keys, you've got to eat key lime pie. Then it was on to the fabulous Curry Mansion of Key West, originally home to Florida's first millionaire, and now a sumptuous antique-filled bed and breakfast. We spent two nights here and loved every minute of it. It's like living in a grand old mansion in a tropical paradise. The original home, featuring ornate woodwork, Tiffany glass, and gorgeous furniture, is open daily for tours. The newly created guest wing, complete with swimming pool and evening cocktails, gets our vote as the place to stay in Key West. A walk through the neighborhood surrounding the Curry Mansion takes you past some lovely old homes. If walking's not your style, there are other ways to tour the area. And if a relaxed vacation is not for you, then Duval Street has plenty of excitement and bohemian bliss. It's party, party, party with a pause in the action only as the crowds head over to Mallory Square for the Twilight Entertainment. And as for us, John, well, we liked it all the sunshine, 
the water sports, the flowers. It's like going to the Caribbean without ever leaving the USA. Now be sure to join us next week for more Motor Week when we test Hyundai's surprising new sport coupe, the affordable Tiburon. I'm John Davis. We'll see you then. To order a video cassette of this program, call 1-800-422-0064 or send $29.95 plus $4.95 shipping and handling to Motor Week. Post Office Box 55742, Indianapolis, Indiana 46205.